The easy-to-use Connect Alarm mobile app connects you to the Power Series Neo security system at your home or business, anywhere, anytime. Prior to launching the app, check with your local representative that the panel was activated with an installer code. Without it, you will not be able to proceed. To start the app, click on this icon. If this is the first time opening the app, you will need to first accept the End User License Agreement and then the Privacy Notice. If you've already used the previous version of this app, you will not see these screens. After accepting, you will be prompted to enter the server address, for example, connect.tychomonitor.com. The first step is to register your email address on the welcome screen. Enter a valid email address and click the Sign Up button. You will be sent an email which will contain a code. In the app, enter the code and click the Proceed button. Set a secure password as instructed and re-enter it to confirm your login. Click the plus button to add your first panel to the application. Note, prior to accessing the PowerSeries Neo panel, you must activate it via the Activation app. Enter the panel name, panel serial, and master user code, and click Connect. You also have the option to restore previously added panels by clicking the Restore button as shown. Note, these screens show the flow. When a user clicks Restore, the screen will display the panels that were previously added, with an option to select them. You can now access View, Arm or Disarm, and change the alarm system status. To add additional users to your panel, go to the Menu options and select Panel Settings and then Users. On this screen, you can add new users using their email addresses. All new users will receive an email containing their unique confirmation code, which will connect them to the app. Use the main menu to click General to navigate back to the main screen. The main screen has four active areas. Area 1 is for System Status, Partitions, if your system supports more than one partition, and System Activation. Area 2 is for Alarms and Troubles. Area 3 shows the latest information, and in Area 4, there is a quick navigation menu. Area 1. In Area 1, you can see the system status and select the partition you want to control. You can also see if the system is armed, in Away, Night, Stay, or Disarmed modes, as shown. Click Away to activate the system. If the icon is red, the system is armed. Click Disarm to deactivate the system. Click Night or Stay to arm specific areas. Note, Area 1 will appear in every screen, but can be hidden to allow you a bigger working area. Alternatively, for iOS users, to choose Partitions, unhide Area 1 and click the three dots to the right. The partitions will appear on the side of the display. Click on the one you want to control. In iOS, you can also choose the partition you want to control by swiping Area 1 left or right. With the Android app, a menu of additional setup options can be found in Area 1. Here in the application settings, you can change various app settings, such as languages, quick navigation, and view settings. In the panel settings, you can manage users, key fobs, partitions, output setup, set panel date and time, and push notifications. Managing notifications is similar with both the Android and iOS version of the app. Clicking Notifications allows access to enable and disable various options and devices. When you receive a notification, details of the alert will be shown. Area 2 Area 2 displays any events that have occurred while the system was armed. Click the individual icons to see more information. Clicking Alarms displays information about the latest alarm events. Click Troubles to see any system issues. And to return to the main screen, click the main icon. Area 3 
Area 3 shows the latest activities, such as who disarmed the system and when they did. You can check earlier activities by clicking View All. Area 4 Area 4 gives you quick access to the main functions. The main icon returns you to the main menu, and the Devices icon shows you a list of devices and sensors. It displays the device photo and label, and the partitions the device belongs to. You can also bypass or unbypass a device, as well as set name, by clicking the three dots on the right. Note, iOS users can bypass or unbypass a device simply by swiping the device left or right. Clicking the filter symbol will filter the list which can be useful for large properties. The filter options include detectors, key fobs, sirens, and repeaters. To filter the list, click the desired type of devices, for example, detectors. To control command outputs, click Outputs in Area 4. This will take you to the Outputs control screen. You can turn outputs on or off. However, you will not be able to see their current status. Clicking Events at the bottom of the screen will take you to the Events Log screen. The colors and icons differentiate the types of events. Here you can view the Events Log and can also filter certain types of events like arm-disarm, alarms, etc. Any videos associated with the alarms can also be accessed here. To access a video on an Android device, click on the camera icon and on an iOS device, click the eye icon. And one final note, the more icon can be used to open alarms and troubles. To learn more about the Connect Alarm app, please visit www.dsc.com/connectalarm or contact your local representative.